Welcome to the Yukiverse. Okay. Hello everyone, welcome back to Pokemon Uranium for a rather special episode today. As you remember from the last three episodes, they were by far my favourite episodes. So I'm just hoping that this game is going to continue on as fantastic as it has been the past few episodes. Uh, if you're wondering why it's a special episode, it's because, uh, oh, oh, I forgot about that. Oh, that's not a, that's not a happy way to start the episode. <laughs> Uh, the day of uploading, not the day of recording, might you add, so the day that this is being uploaded, July 19th, it's my birthday! Yay! So, you can send birthday wishes my way, I guess, if you like. So, let's check out our team. We have a, uh, a Zuna here. Adamant Nature is pretty nice, although, of course, the only stat that's below 10 would be the attack. Uh, Medical Aqua Jet, Swagger and Aerial Ace, not bad. Chickabo, same movesets had for, like, ever. Um, I've just noticed for once, although it's got a neutral nature, 30 is in its special attack, which is the one that it wants. That makes a nice change. Um, we've got Echo here, who has a special attack increase nature, of course, crappy IV in it. Surf, Bubbleween, Gyro, Raindance. Ness, our uh, MVP. Still got the same moveset, hasn't really changed much. Damn, 229 in attack. <laughs> That's almost max EV. <laughs> um, what was your IVs like in that? 27? Damn! That's because he's got neutral nature. Neutral natures are better to catch and positive natures in this game, it seems. And, and then we got Daisy, who's got a increasing nature and special attack, and of course, a really terrible IV. Uh, your moves are awful. That's okay, we're not using you right now. Uh, we seem to be using Azuna, so uh, let's just avoid this trainer for a second. Oh, actually, I don't know which way I'm meant to go. I guess I go right, so I probably want to explore left, right? <laughs> I want to explore left, right. Okay, mate. Hold on. That was a clever sentence. What the hell is that? Jack Deary. Is that just a is that just a name? Someone called Jack Deary? Like What type is it? Oh, I'm scared of this thing. Oh, it might be fairy type, it's metal claw. Hey. Oh. 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 Wait, but Metal's not super hurt against fighting. No, I'm not going to use next Pokemon. What a great start to the episode! <laughs> Fuck my life. <laughs> Fuck my entire life. Well, you can have the lucky egg daisy, but we're still not training you yet. So, um, I guess we'll, uh,. Switch you with Echo, and then switch Echo with Azuna. I was really hoping to get a Daikatuna. It really was. Uh, let's see what's over here then. There's a sign. It doesn't, doesn't say anything. I found Dragon Claw. Nice. Anyone can learn Dragon Claw that will actually want it? Because I'm pretty sure. Uh, Chickabo can learn it because it learns it by level up and it's like, no. <laughs> Just Chickabo. Well, okay then, never mind. We'll be on our merry way. Uh, let's talk to this dude. Oh, or fight a wild Pokemon, I guess. That's another Jack Deary. So, what's Fairy Type even in this game? Let's surf and see how much it does. A jump kit won't do anything to us. And he's dead. But it's not super effective. He did have a steel move, I guess. We could use that, but whatever. Whatever. Let's talk to this dude. Hey, you! Which side are you on? Uh, you didn't give me a choice, you just battled me. Dragon Tamer Dovak sent out Dunseraf. Oh, we know you. We know you, Dunseraf. You're a dragon. That's not good for me. Surf. How much is that going to do? Oh. Soil? What? What? Attack, defense, and accuracy. Okay, let's set up the rain. Endure. Yep, you do that. <laughs> set up the rain so our surfs are stronger. And then surf again. What does Bubble Beam lower if it gets the lower? I forget, is it speed? It's going to be a bit pointless considering we're faster anyway. Oh, I added a lot more. Soil again. Okay. This is when that's not actually saying soil and I just can't read it properly because of the 
Start up the bar across the bottom of my thing. Surf, maybe kill it. Because of the rain boost. Ah, oh, so close. Double edge. Oh, oh I did a lot. I did a whole bunch. Because he, he buffed his attack twice, but he did kill himself at least. Oh boy, that was scary. Obviously, you're not on my side. What side? What are you talking about? Her. He might have won. That was a fluke. I will call you for a rematch next time. You won't be so lucky. Alright, sure. Don't bother me. I'll fight you again. Uh, let's hyper potion up. Uh, echo here, though. I'm alright. I should probably do the same to Ness. I don't want Ness to buy us. Ness, your health is like really low. Like your max hit points. Do -do -do. I come from the mountains up north, looking for strong trainers to challenge. Fair enough. Well, I have a water type out front, and you're a hiker, so... Uh, is that steel rock, or is it just steel? I don't know. Oh, and it has roll out. I hate roll out. Huh? Metal whip. Alright. Whatever. That's fine. Take a little bit extra damage from the metal whip, and then we'll just bubble beam you to death. Oh, so today's episode has not really been that exciting so far. Well, two trainers picked up a Dragon Claw TM and lost a Zuna to a wild jackrabbit. Huh, I was expecting today to be like this super hype. What the hell is that thing? Chopper Chop? It's a Chopper Chop. I don't know what type it is. So, maybe Rock Poison? Maybe Rock Poison because it's brown and purple? Okay. I mean, I don't know what it was, but we killed it. And then one of you. We can uh, we can kill you with bubble beam. Oh. So yeah, I was uh don't know why I was expecting really. I mean, how do you top surfing ninjas? <laughs> oh my god, that's still fantastic. Every time I think about it, just surfing ninjas. I wish the surfing ninja episode would have been uploaded on my birthday, that'd be fantastic. That would have been fantastic. Uh fire starter, what what's your health looking like? Oh your health is fine. Should we have to take you on? Unless you have a page A. Hey, wanna see my wanna see me do a cool trick? I can swallow fire. Cool. Token Tarzard, I guess. Fire type Pokemon you need. Fire okay, that is fine. I mean just a reminder of our lost Spyro partner, but we can take it out in one shot at least. Please don't have a page A. Please don't have a page A. For the love of God, don't I? I really should have set the range just in case you had a page A, shouldn't I? Oh, phew. Oh, that's that's a, that's a fire ground type you got right there. Yeah, you can flame wheel. Oh, that's fine. You're, you're dying in one shot to bubble beam. Hell, you'd die in one shot to bubble, probably, because four times effective. And you're dead. Oof, I'm scared every time I see a pyromancer now, because it's like, pyromaniac, sorry. It's like, are they going to have Page A? Page is so scary to me. Okay, so there's a police dude there. I want to heal, but I don't want to waste a hype potion. It's just a regular potion that we apparently have. Here you go. I have 20 health back. <laughs> I don't know why we have that. Alright. Do you see what I see? Uh, it depends. What do you see? Do you see me? Because if you see me, then I don't see what you see. Well, I mean, I, I do in real life, because behind my computer is a mirror, which is kind of annoying, to be honest. But, uh, hello me. What the? What? Everything. It's all these new Pokemon. What are these? <laughs> Masking. I mean, this thing looks really cool. I like this thing. It's like it's like a it's like a yin yang thing going on. But um, oh, we one shot it bubble beam. Not not very specially defensive, then I see. I guess this is just the episode of new Pokemon. Oh, Braylock, you're not new. Oh, I can't fight you. Um, Chicken Bow, you can fight this. That's enough, Echo. Come back. Go, Chicken Bow. Psybeam. Mm. Mm. Really? Alright then. Oh, this is why we're not using Chicken Bow at the moment, I see. <laughs> Might have been slightly run out of most of his PP. I did wonder why uh, I'd moved him back a bit. But that would make the sense. Really fainted. Again, pitiful experience. Psychic Q. I can't believe it! 
You should believe it more. Psychic Pokemon are some of the toughest types to train. You have to earn their respect before they obey orders. Someone has lost their Eevee inside the labyrinth and Tandor police is doing a search. You can't go inside the cave right now. Okay. Oh, there's a level bout coming up. Uh-oh, spaghetti <gasps> I want that. Hey, <laughs> guy, I found the, the Eevee. He lost it right here. But I want to catch that, but we're on the same route. I should really check we're on the same route. If we're not on the same route, just so you know, I'm still going to catch one, even though it wasn't my first encounter. Because this game didn't tell me that I'd changed route. Well, that was where we got the Surfing Ninja, so how do I. How do I know? Wait, oh, it's just down there. Uh, 11, that green channel. Yeah, no, we are actually on a different route. I'm going to catch Pokemon because I had no idea. This game doesn't tell you. So our not first encounter, but what we're treating as our first encounter is... Uh, we're going to call dupes on that. I've had enough. I think I've had enough of Shoutons, and I don't like the new look of a Shouton um, since the update. So our actual not really first encounter is... A jack rabbit. Sorry, a jack deary. Well, that is what we're going to catch then. Um, I can't fight you really, can I? So let's send out Ness, because Ness is fun to wave, I believe. I think we kept that on Ness. We used to have someone that had Dragon Rage? Yeah, it was uh, Gyarados did, didn't they? Thunder Wave. What the hell are we going to call this thing? Um, I'm not sure. I'm trying to think if there's a bunny in a thing that I like. I mean, probably. I quite like rabbits. It's like my second or third favourite animal. Wait. The game's not going to let me catch it, is it? I'm assuming that's what happened. I'll throw another great ball because I wasn't reading. <sighs> Here's what we're going to do. Because this is a little bit bullshit. Here's what we're going to do. Feels like cheating, but at the same time I feel like the game has cheated me by not telling me we're on a new route. So we're going to... Oh. Hang on a minute. You can't... Oh, I thought you could turn Nuzlocke off here. You can only turn off the sub-clauses of Nuzlocke. Well then, I guess we just missed an encounter because the game decided not to tell me that there was an encounter. Thanks, game. Thanks. Oh, you can just walk underneath them. Okay. I found a high potion. Well, that's kind of useful. That's really disappointing. <laughs> ah, looks like a challenging trainer. Ready, Gale? Cu cool couple Abe and Gale would like to battle. A Shouten and... Turlard. Oh, I remember him. He was a boss. Earlier. Uh, he's a... Hmm. So if I surf... Oh, I don't know who surf hits in this game. Bubble Beam this one. And Spark this one. That should just kill them both in one shot, hopefully. Sharpen's got to die in one shot to that Spark. Because now we got it for crit. Didn't even need that. But, alright, we'll take it. And then Echo should be faster than Turlard. Should one shot it. Oh, is he guessing he's ground dragon now? It's bubble beam, and you know what? Because I know the bubble beam's gonna kill. Let's give Daisy some experience. <laughs> Not very much, but a little bit. <laughs> I forgot. <laughs> I forgot he just laid spikes. <laughs> I could have been bad. I could have been really bad. Sorry, Daisy. There you go. Some experience. Yay. That's the end of our relationship. Whoa! Alright, you don't break up from your girlfriend just because you lost the battle. Why'd you do this to me? I don't have time for losers like this guy. What the hell? <laughs> I need to break up your relationship, guys. I'm sorry. Uh, let's swap Ness out front. Um, let's fight this science dude. You remind me of someone I saw on TV. Cool. Who? <laughs> Super Scientist Dog would like to burn. Oh, it's an S51. That Pokemon that, yet again, the game didn't tell me anything, so we missed out on it. <laughs> Has levitates, we're going to dig. Just spark it up and hopefully one-shot it. Yeah, Ness is, 
Ness is too strong. Ness is too strong. Mana. Mana? She's just straight to go up, little booger. These things are weak as hell. Really? Really? <laughs> Alright. Alright, Mana. I, I see you. <laughs> She's another strength. I don't care about using up strengths, PP. Mana fainted. Sent out Monshana. This one's gonna need a spark. I only have four, three PP of spark left. Oh, that didn't do very much. Maybe. Uh oh. That did a lot. We're in crit range. Strength. Mm, I can't use dig on it because it's got levity. Lucky charm. Oh, so I can't get critted. That's fine. I'm just strength again and kill you. Strength did as much as spark, I just noticed. That's weird. Hmm. Oh, dear. Next group, 47. Hey, super scientist dog. Guess I confused fiction with reality. Okay. Wish all of my favorite fictional characters are real. Then we could hang out and I would actually have friends. Aww, didums. Oh, HP up. Okay. Uh, we'll use that. We will gladly use that. Just want to go in here and use a hyper potion on Ness anyway. Uh, and then HP up, we can get to Chickabo because we train Chickabo in HP. So there you go, why don't we... Oh, you're only allowed to use on something that was like 100 left. You know what, HP up. Here you go, Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> Probably should have just sold it instead. Probably would have had more use. But... Right, so are we... Vensai City ahead. Right, so... Is this a new route? Because this game doesn't tell you when you get to a new route. No, this is part of the island still. The Labyrinth. Right, so if, as soon as I, just as a heads up for the future, as soon as I go through the labyrinth, I'm at a new area called Shadow Channel. And that's all of that route. Okay. Because the game's map before is just not working very well. Okay, so we missed our uh, captions, on missed out on Jackrabbit, which really sucks. We're going to head into the city now. Um, sweet. Echo, you got to live, man. Because <laughs> otherwise we will not be able to, uh, we'll be able to surf anymore. Oh, so we're oh we're surfing the city. We might find a encounter in the city. Maybe encounter in the city. Oh, you know what? I bet the city's based on Venice. It's only just occurred to me. There's boats everywhere, and there's a whole like, waterway system. Can we go under the bridges. We can. Nice. Please, please, can there be wild Pokemon there? What is this? Opera house and gym? Okay. I saw it. I saw a white bird Pokemon, but then it disappeared. Oh, okay. Have you gone for a ride in a gondola yet? You must try it. Maybe. Be a real Venetian. Five years ago, I could never dream of being an actress. They didn't allow women on stage. Something changed that, though. Really? They didn't? I didn't know that. I thought women were like actresses all the time. This house is full of theater enthusiasts. We all live in Venice because we love the stage. Cool. They used to say the women performing an opera was indecent. That's no fair. Wow. Tandor used to be sexist. They say gym leader is also a star in the theater. Though I don't know who it is. The house didn't really have any interesting information for me. So we will look up here. Let's chat this man. Here now, you like a bright young trainer, I consider myself to be an expert in Tandor myths and legends. Would you like to learn about the legendary Pokemon? Ah, Beta to Teo. That's a well documented one. Beta Teo is said to be a giant serpent Pokemon that lives at the bottom of a river in East Tandor. Though there are records of it challenging tra traveling to West Tandor as well. It's supposedly a fire and water type Pokemon. The heat from its scales give life to the river and make the waters grow bright at night. Although there are some tales of boats gone missing in the night when it gets hungry. Would you like to hear about another? Yeah, sure. Lan, Lanthan and Actan. Oh, they're the gods. Lanthan and Actan, twin brothers, the rare metal Pokemon. Each are supposedly a thousand years old. Legend has it they crawled out of the Earth's crust and taught man the use of metals. Supposedly another of their kind lives in the Sinnoh region and is known as Heatran. 
Oh, that's clever. Nowadays, they are said to dwell within the volcanoes of Tandor. That's how Mount Actonite got its name. Yeah, sure, let's hear about the last one. I've never heard of any Pokemon with that name. Oh. You've never heard of Unrain? Ugh. <laughs> Have you seen the Venetia Browse? It's one of our biggest landmarks. No, I'm blind. There's a rat there. Every day I wake up and riding a dole to work. Living here is great. So I'm gonna go in the south, chat to everyone in here, and then I feel like I should call an episode. My birth tips I really wasn't that special, was it? Here, trainer, I want you to have this to you. Dazzling Gleam! Yo! Nice! Nice! So Fairy is trying its fighting, dark and dragon. Resist bug, dark and fighting. It's immune to dragon. Okay. What's your favorite Pokemon type? Mine's Fairy. I don't know why I gave her that voice. <laughs> Can some Tandor Pokemon Mega Revolve? I think it's possible. There is a type of evolution that's only temporary, but only some Pokemon can do it. Have you heard of the new kind of evolution? Some researchers in the Kalash region discovered it. So we're getting into fairy types and mega evolutions now. Game's gonna get hyped very soon. So, uh, thanks for watching today. Sorry that it was a rather boring and lackluster episode where we just missed out on an encounter of a jackrabbit because the game didn't and told me that we were in a new area. <laughs> God damn it. I wish I'd got a jackrabbit as well, that'd have been cool. But, what can you do? Thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time. Peace out, yo.